Telecom companies say 5G is going to be big. And if they're right, one big thing that could change are commutes. As populations grow in cities, we can expect more and more traffic. American drivers spend more than 17,600 minutes behind the wheel each year, and that number is only going up. Here are five ways 5G-focused companies say their high-speed, minimal delay technology can help. Smart traffic signals could change based on real-time traffic patterns. One study found that smart traffic lights reduce travel time by 25% and wait time by 40%. 5G sensors could help cars find empty parking spots more easily and reduce wasted time. Public transit operators could provide instant rerouting for drivers. And all this low latency connectivity could help vehicles better avoid collisions. Semi-autonomous cars could drive closer together, increasing highway capacity and efficiency. Some transportation experts are skeptical. Well, it'll change everything, certainly not. I mean, I don't... They say that 5G doesn't address the most pressing transportation problem, outdated and broken infrastructure. The in signal infrastructure out there is already some cases, 30, 40, 50 years old. It takes decades to update that stuff. They say that current 4G connectivity is good enough in most areas, and that autonomous vehicles will have their own in-car systems that don't rely on 5G. No, I don't think, I don't think any connectivity is essential to making it work. Um, I think connectivity brings with it a lot of risks, especially dependencies on 5G, I don't think is really viable. Having it as a supplement that provides additional nice things to have is fine. 5G providers also face major hurdles, like getting access to more airwaves. Technology standards haven't been set yet. And to actually make the network function, you have to create an entire new infrastructure on top of existing networks, including brand new antennas on basically every street corner. This takes time and billions of dollars of investment. I mean, they're building them. So the AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, and Sprint are all gonna have 5G networks out by early next year. The question is, how quickly do those networks fill up? Just as 4G really paved the way for things like Uber, 5G is gonna do that to a lot of things in a lot of industries, including transportation. I think what we can't say today is, it's going to be X, or it's gonna be Y. As the cost decreases and the benefits increase, it's gonna make sense to connect all kinds of things to the cellular network.